Here in Chapter 3, one of the issues that we have with our OASDI and our HI is what do we do about tips and uh, withholdings for those. So exercise 3-3B on page 351 helps us to sort through this information related to that with tips and the required taxes to withhold. So taking a look, we have Eric Sherm began working as a part-time waiter on April 1, 2013 at Yardville Restaurant. Cash tips of $475 that he received during April were reported on Form 4070, which he submitted to his employer on May 1st. And what he submitted on May 1st was the for Form 4070, not the $475. During May, he was paid wages of $630 by the restaurant. So we are to compute the OASDI and HI under Part A of this. The amount of FICA taxes that the employer would withhold from Sherm's wages during May. The amount of taxable wages is the first component that we must come up with. This would include the portion that is for our tips of $475. It would include the portion that we have for our $630. Within that, we could do a calculation to determine to make sure that this employee got minimum wage for the wages, allowing for that tip credit. That's not the issue for this question, so we're just going to stick with what is required. The OASDI as a result of this amount of taxable wages, 1105 in taxable wages. So our OASDI as a result of that is the $1,105 times for the employee because it's a withholding 4.2%. The HI for this is that same amount of taxable wages times 1.45%. So then we'll do those calculations. And the amount comes out to $46.41 for OESDI and HI at $16.02. In Part B of this, now we're looking at the employer part of this. It's the same amount of taxable wages, so when we talk about a matching tax, it's matching the amount of wages. The rate for employers is 6.2% for OASDI, and the amount for our HI, it's that same amount of taxable wages times the 1.45%. So with this, we have for the employer $68.51 that is tax, uh, the tax for OASDI. Notice that the amount for the HI is the same because the rates are the same. The total withholdings for those taxes, it's not a required here, but we recognize that there is a reduction to the wages of $630 that the employee takes home as a result, just like we would with anything else. And unfortunately, in some of our exercises, it does seem that the employee walks away with very little take-home pay, but we recognize that they have already received the tips. Questions or problems? Let me know.